Hi Pisces, it is Saturday, March 9th, 2024 today, and it's time for our daily get together. We're sitting outside tonight, Pisces, and we're going to see what your tarot cards say. Happy birthday, you guys. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know right now at the time they're viewing this video? What does Pisces need to know? Pisces. All right, Pisces, let's get it together. Let's see what's happening here in your energy. I saw this as I was shuffling. Did you guys see this? The Eight of Cups is here. I feel like you're you're feeling like you want to walk away. But walking away is really difficult, right? You have Ten of Wands. How am I going to carry all of this very far? You have the Hermit, Virgo energy. You're keeping this to yourself, I feel like. How am I going to walk very far away? It's hard to walk away too. These cups are full of love. You're leaving something behind. Something where there's love. What does Pisces need to know? And so you just lay down. You think about it. You're not doing anything. You're just waiting for these swords to fall off the wa wall and turn into the Three of Swords and break your heart into a million pieces. In the center of your reading, you have strength. This is Leo energy. And you're holding on, but it's really, really hard. It's not easy with strength showing up. You're holding back from walking away. Not sure if anything's going to change or not. But you're really, really up in your head about it, Pisces. You keep thinking about it. I feel like there's someone here in your emotions that... I mean, someone here in your mind that... They don't know how to show their emotions... And so it leaves you feeling blindfolded and confused. This person, I, I can just see this person walking through the front door and acting like nothing's wrong, nothing's happening. And you watch them, you look over at them. What is going on? Silently. And then you have the King of Pentacles. This person with the King of Pentacles energy too showing up here. This person values what they've made with you, the stability that the two of you have created together, they value that. They want to sit in it. They don't want to walk away from it. You have the Four of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. <laughs> <coughs> so you hold on to this connection afraid to stand up off of the chair and walk away just holding back why is the eight of cups here why are you thinking like this Pisces why 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 are you thinking about doing this you have the eight of wands this is too much it's too much busyness for a Pisces. This person brings too much hectic energy into your life. 
You never know whether they're going to be there or they're not. Pisces likes to know what's going on. This is too, too busy, all right? This person's energy. Tell me why the Eight of Wands is here. You want to leave this busyness in the wind. You want to leave it behind you. Why is the Eight of Wands here? You look out into the distance, all right? You turn your back for a moment and you think, what else is out there? You turn your back on all of this and you're seeking, Pisces, I can see it. You're seeking in the energy of the hermit. I need some time alone. I, I don't need... I don't know what this person does in your life, Pisces, but they're showing me that they're creating a lot of stirrup, a lot of hectic energy. Tell me why the Eight of Wands is here. Yeah, see, look at them. Of course, they're running all over the place. They might be younger than you. If not younger than you, this is someone that um, their energy is showing up here like they're a teenager in high school or something. Like They like to be running all over the place all the time. High energy. Tell me why the Ten of Wands is here. I want to figure out why you can't get up and go. Because I'm feeling like there's several, several reasons. You, th you think about this person. Alright? The Six of Cups is here. You think about this person a lot. This is a soulmate. This is someone that you, you deeply care about their feelings. And this is a heavy burden. But yet, you're showing up here as the Queen of Cups where... You're, you love them, but you, you don't want to, you don't want to be hurt anymore, Pisces. And so you, you have this energy here where you are not wanting to let, not wanting to open up your full heart to this person, not wanting to completely let them in. For some reason, they've been so busy. They've been running here, running there, running everywhere. It's causing a lot of confusion in your energy. And you don't want to open yourself up to heartbreak and hurt. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Someone new is going to show up in your energy, Pisces. I'm seeing a new person showing up. Um, but you're you're still with someone else, I feel like, for most of you. But there's a new opportunity that's going to show up with the Ace of Pentacles. And this is coming in the form of someone here sending you two messages. I feel like someone sends you one message, you don't really respond. You you may peek and look at it, but you don't think much of it. And then this person takes some type of action here. All right, and it's the second message that's really going to catch your eye. Why is the hermit here? Because you do have a spy. You have someone watching you. Why is the hermit here? Yeah, see, you're keeping quiet. Someone new. Who is this? Something that makes you... It's a, 
it's something that makes you stay quiet. You don't want to show the plan. You don't want to show this Knight of Wands who this Knight of Cups is. Why is the High Priestess here? The High Priestess and the Hermit are you keeping your lips zipped. Because someone else is going to show up. Gemini energy with the lovers. Who is this mysterious lover? It's someone brand new. Someone that you haven't met yet. Tell me why the Four of Swords is here. The Nine of Cups and the Magician. You're kind of manifesting being single. And being able to fill your own cups. I'm seeing you trying to manipulate a situation or manipulate your words. Because you really, really want to be able to focus on yourself right now. You have a hard time sleeping at night. This person is too much in your energy, Pisces. This Knight of Wands too much in your business like i said you never know when they're coming or when they're going or when they're going to be there and pisces absorbs people's energy and it's really really difficult for you to absorb the energy of the knight of wands who is running around like a maniac all over the place or creating all of this stirring energy all the time It's too hard for you. It's very difficult for you to absorb this person's energy. Why is strength here? You feel stuck? Queen of Swords is here, so you're just, you know, you're in self-sacrificing energy, feeling stuck. But you got your sword up, and you're, you have your hand held uh, out, and you're ready to use that sword to say, get out. Get out of the door. Get out of my life. I'm done. I'm closing this karmic wheel, this karmic cycle out for good. Because this person has in and out en energy here. They're very inconsistent. Something here is coming to an end. You have the Seven of Wands and you have the Six of Pentacles. There's someone very significant here that's coming into your life, Pisces. And you may, this may be someone that you meet online. Not like you're on a dating app or anything, just like with the world, like someone you're connecting with, maybe that's at a distance from you but I see you here fighting back the six of pentacles is here and I'm feeling like um, something's going to happen here like some type of an argument a straw that breaks the camel's back where you're ready to use that sword and you're like chop but then it puts you up in your head like this with the eight of swords feeling blindfolded okay now what now this world my world feels kind of empty feels sad feels like I'm alone did I screw up why is the eight of swords here the marriage the home The marriage, the home, this is Taurus energy, the commitment, leaving you in darkness and confusion. Am I doing the right thing? There's two dogs on the moon. There's a part of you that wants to run wild 
one of these dogs is the is the wild dog the other one is a domesticated dog there's a piece of you that you know that wants to just stay put stay consistent just keep going and doing what you're doing and you argue with yourself I'm not making the best of it um, I'm my mind is so far going off in this direction of this wild dog type energy where I just want to run I want to be free and then you have the king of cups you have this this knight of wands is the king of cups you have and you have another person that's coming into your energy this other person they're very very financially stable they could have a lot of money they could own their own business why is the king of cups here and this person slipping in without you seeing without you even knowing that there's going to be a third party here that you're bringing in the six of wands why is the six of wands here the emperor aries energy and the three of cups you're going to need to choose between two i'm looking into the future you're going to have a choice between two and it's really going to mess with you you have a blindfold on here you have a blindfold on with the eight of swords energy i'm feeling very confused lately but it's just going to get more confusing sorry to tell you that but in the future here you are i don't know which one to choose because this person this new person coming into your life they are going to make such a big impact on you and we're going to clarify who this person is in the meantime this knight of wands or king of cups um this person feels like you know like they like they haven't made with you they're in control the six of wands is here they're up on a pedestal being recognized there's other people in their energy that notice them that recognize them that um they may like to go out and party or be around friends or people when they're not around you but they feel like they got this under control they you know they don't want to let you go but something feels off to you. Tell me why the Page of Swords is here. But there's someone here. There's a stranger. Someone that you don't know. That is watching you. See? This person's energy is showing up as if they are possibly a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn they are wearing green and they want they have an idea they're looking at you and they're going to present you with and with something here Pisces they're go they're going to communicate with you they're going to say I've been watching you and I have an offer for you and this is something for some of you this could be a new job offer i'm not sure what it is but i'm seeing communication coming in of someone here who has an an offer for you tell me why the ace of swords is here boy and they're coming fast the knight of swords is here someone's coming fast with communication you have the Ten of Cups. Who is this? Is this somebody that you know? This is going to be a tough decision to make. Might be a Capricorn. There's a past energy here. This is a present energy. You got a past energy here. 
that is showing up as a great temptation. Tell me why the Ten of Cups is here. Could be a Cancer. You have Chariot, Sagittarius, Temperance. Another, the very fastest moving card in the Tarot deck, the Chariot, rushing in. Um, wanting a reconciliation with you. Sorry. Showing up as new because this connection was already dead and gone. It was already over. It was already completed. You put it in the past. Someone here is watching you, though. Tell me why the King of Pentacles is here. Why are they showing up? Eight of Pentacles. Come on, Pisces. Come on. Um, I have this job. I have this work. I have something that I do. I've got everything set up. I just come with me, Pisces. Just come with me. Everything's going to be okay. Just come with me. I've been waiting. I've been waiting until I got everything perfect to approach you. I've been watching you. Ten of Swords. This person still feels the Ten Swords from the past. And there's no other option. There's no other way for them to release the, the pain that they feel. To get back off of the ground again. There's no other option here but Pisces. Okay? They're not interested in any other offers, any other cups. There's only one person they want. There's a block in communication with this person. They're receiving karma. There's a lot of arguments, fights happening in their energy. Um, could be with family or friends. But they're coming back around into your life. Or they're going to try to. We all have free will. Meanwhile, you're holding on to a connection here that you're afraid to stand up and walk away from. A commitment. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? You're holding on. You're afraid to walk away from this. You keep it to yourself. Seven of Swords is here in the Queen of Pentacles. You keep it to yourself. That King of Pentacles from the past, that was your match. And you know it. But you're quiet about it. You keep it to yourself. <coughs> and um, when you lost this person, it caused a lot of pain. And I feel like this is someone that you could have walked away from. And I'm trying to figure out, you don't want a repeat of what happened, the pain that happened in the past with this, this person from the past that's coming into your life now. You, you could have walked away from that person and then you felt the ripple effects later. Tell me why the Two of Cups is here. What's in your destiny? The lovers? It's your choice, Pisces. What are you going to fight for? 
Are you going to fight for this? Because when this person from your past shows up wanting to apologize for maybe a betrayal with the Ten Swords, um, look at all of these wands. Look at all of these people, like, feeling like all of these people are against you if you were to choose this person. Who's holding the hands? Whose hands are on the ends of these wands pointing at you, making you feel defensive if you don't make the right choice? And so there you are. I don't know what to do. Yeah, this is someone that you've waited for. There was a tower moment. This connection from the past, it ended suddenly. Very suddenly, very painful. And there's a piece of you where your heart, you've, you've kept your arms covered across your chest, across your heart, where you haven't really let anyone is completely into your heart as you did this past energy. But it's a secret you keep to yourself, the fact that you're waiting for someone. Okay, so let's get your moonology cards and get some advice Pisces spirits what does Pisces need to know right now at the time they're viewing this video okay you need to step up and lead new moon in Capricorn and first quarter moon in Virgo assess the situation Step back from it and assess the situation. New moon and Libra, know you are loved. All right, Pisces, I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for taking the time to like and subscribe and for your donations to the channel. Thank you guys so much. Um, I love you guys, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care of you today, Pisces. Namaste.